I'm Sean Weatherspoon, a.k.a. Spoon. You can find me on IG at SpoonJones56. You can also find me on Twitter at SeanWSpoon56. And you're watching Hip Hop Weekly. Okay. Hip Hop Weekly All Access. This is your girl, Brianna, and we are here live today with the one and only Sean Weatherspoon. How's it going? It's going great. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. Thanks for checking in with us. Uh, Introduce yourself. Well, um, like you said, my name is Sean Weatherspoon. Um, I've been playing pro ball for about nine years now, going into year nine. Um, and currently a free agent right now, so, you know, I'm more of a father, a, a husband right now, you know. Um, taking care of home and just, you know, training to make sure that I'm ready to go when my numbers call. Okay, nice, nice, nice. So talk to us about just your experience in, you know, being in the sports industry. Um, what inspired that? Well, growing up, you know, I'm the baby of four. So my two older brothers, they both play ball and um, they both played at the next level. So when I say the next level, I mean, you know, they, they left high school and continued to further their um, playing careers. And, you know, I sat back and kind of just learned from them and, and saw, you know, the do's and the don'ts, you know. And I think that played a big part in putting me in position to be able to leave Texas where I grew up. I grew up in Jasper, Texas, and I received a scholarship to the University of Missouri. And once I got to Missouri, it just kind of just started to come about. It just, it just came full circle. I never really was like, oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I was just trying to be the best that I could be in. Just keep balling and make sure I took care of school, too, because got that diploma. And then I got that call from Mr. Blank about, about nine wow. years ago. So it's, wow. it's crazy in hindsight, man. It's, it's wild. What was that feeling like when you got that call? Well, you know, it was like, it wasn't really about me. You know, it was kind of like everybody who helped me along the journey. That's what okay. it was about. It was like everybody sacrificed so I could, you know, go to these camps. My parents drove me up to these colleges and, you know, gave me the opportunity to, you know, to really go out and try to, you know, be my best and do what I wanted to do. And I realized that, you know, I could play at a high level, but I just, you know, only, you know, one person in every recruiting class typically makes it. And in my class, it was about four or five of us that actually made it. And those guys were my roommates. And I think that played a big part of it too. But it was just, you know, just a dream. You know, you kind of watch it growing up and you say you can do it, but you just never know until you're in that situation. And after my freshman year, I kind of took off. So I was like, yeah, this could really happen. And just to get that call, it was, it was just gratifying. Okay, nice, nice. Um, spoonful of hope. Talk about that. Well, I came here in 2010 and, you know, um, Arthur Blank, I know a lot of people know about Mr. Blank and they call him Uncle Arthur. And um, he does a lot in the community to help, you know, the people that don't have as much, you know, and that stood out to me. So my rookie year, we would typically be, you know, doing something every Tuesday. And that's the off day of the pros in the NFL. That's the off day of the week. Mm -hmm. But we would be out, you know, servicing others. And that it just it just made me feel great and just to see the smile on, on the kids face when you go to the school or the grocery store when you go and you know help the elderly people carry the bags to the car and things like that just just really resonated with me and you know my parents my mom and dad um, my mom's an educator my dad worked in the auto mechanic mm -hmm. industry and um you know they always helped others and they helped my um my friends growing up, I would always try to get out the house <laughs> when they came over. They'd be sitting at the island talking to my folks and, you know, all of them didn't, maybe they didn't have, you know, two parent household or maybe they didn't have someone to, you know, pour something into them. And I feel like, you know, as a, as a human being on earth, my job is to service others, give back. You know, if I'm in that position, then I feel like that's what I should be doing. And that's what kind of inspired me to start the foundation. Okay. Nice. Nice. Who can, you know, be a part of the foundation? Man, anybody can be a part of the foundation. Um, I'm typically on Instagram quite a bit. Twitter, um, my Twitter tag is Sean W Spoon Five Six. Um, I get messages all the time on there and Instagram. I'm Spoon Jones Five Six, and you know different volunteers want to you know they see what we're doing and they want to you know help as well. So we're kind of you know we're we're open to that. Um, my wife and I, we run the foundation pretty much. She runs the foundation. I show up. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, and and I, I try to just, just be myself, you know, with the people and just try to inspire people. The name is Spoonful of Hope. And I feel like if you have hope, then you got fight. And I know every situation might not be an easy situation, but if you if you believe, you can, you can work at it and make it a better situation. So I just want to be there to inspire people. And it really, it's really about the youth and, you know, single parent homes. Um, we really try to 
you know, get in in, in, in that area and, and motivate them. And I think that's something that's been going well for us. But yeah, anybody that reaches out to me, man, I try to do a good job of, you know, reaching back out or I just, you know, defer to my wife and, and we kind of get it together, you know, just like that. Okay. So in your spare time, uh, what what is your typical day like? Uh, what, what are your hobbies? <clears throat> well, um, you know, I'm always resonated with music. So music's always been a, a big part and not too much on the production side. You know, I'm learning some, some things as far as producing records and stuff like that. But um, I like to write. I like to sing. Um, and I just like to hang out with my babies now. You know, I'm, I'm a little bit older now. Got a three year old daughter. Her name's Ava. Um, my son will be two in June. Baby Sean, that's my namesake. Okay. And um, we just kick it, man. We have a good time. They're, they're quite the musicians as well. If you okay. check my story, you, you might see them on there singing or playing with their little, you know, um, makeshift guitars and things like that. But um, I, I definitely like to just chill out. I'm, I'm pretty much a chill guy. I'm, I'm, I'm always like smiling and having a good time. But at the same time, I like being at the house and watching some Netflix, you know, just, okay. just kind of relaxing and things like that. But the music just, you know, it's, it's, it became, it was a hobby, but it started to become more of a passion. Right. And, um, you know, with right. ball, you know, having a lot of idle time, I moved to Buford in 2010 and I um, ended up purchasing the house in 2011. And I just put a little system down there, you know, a little mic, and we just started kicking it and guys would come over. You know, I got some, some flows from, from guys all throughout the, the professional um, sports world. You, you never know who might be on my computer, but um, I just kept, you know, just having fun with it. And one of my good friends was out here with me. His name is Gil. And he's a real talented artist from Texas, and okay. you know, we kind of just kick flows together. So we kind of mimic, you know, Bun and Pimp, you know, Andre and, and Big Boy, you know, on that tip like that. But, um, you know, it inspired me to actually start my own production company. And, wow. And um, so that happened in 2016. And mm -hmm. the name of the production company is Can't Be Contained. A good buddy of mine who I met um, through this entertainment lawyer, mm -hmm. his name is Trey Beats. So Trey Beats is from Joliet, not too far from Chicago. And he'd been in Atlanta since 2009. Mm -hmm. He'd been working with Bangladesh. And okay. Did some production with um with Gucci, um, Chris Brown on the X album. Um, um, one record I know that he done that he did recently um, that was kind of making some waves out here was the Water record with um Joe Gifted. Okay. Um, so I know that record right. was a, like a street level record that was he was getting some play. So Trey and I we kind of just figured out a little. A little deal between us, a little co-production deal. So you know, I'm a, he he he's more hands-on with it. I'm more so just making sure that, you know taking care to take care. You know. Okay. And at the same time, just perfecting my craft as well because you know I I tend I, I intend to release some music myself. Yeah. Okay. Right now, can't be contained is at a at a point where you know we're trying to expand. We, we we're looking for songwriters, producers, anybody that can just take it to the next level that's what we're trying to do trying who who do you aspire to you know collaborate with or do you do you plan to collaborate with any, with any artists um I'm, I'm i'm not too sure you know um okay. i think i think when i first put something out i wanted to be me and mm -hmm. show that i can carry the song what you do know? you want people to uh what what are you trying to get people to to hear from you well i think um just a little bit about myself you know my upbringing and um you know where i'm from um, definitely, I want them to, you know, know that um, you know, I'm not just just because I got a few bucks, put a studio in the house, mm -hmm, and just start mm -hmm. kicking rhymes. Like I'm really taking the time with it, and and you know, working on the artistry side. And that's, I think that comes with with time. You know, getting it ready for the, for the masses. I think you kind of have to do your due diligence and make sure you're on point. So I just want them to, you know, accept it and, and hear it and take it in for what it is. And um, just, just feedback. I think anything, you just want some feedback because I think that can help you in your next step. Who are you listening to now? Right now, I'm listening to that KOD Heavy um, okay. by J. Cole. I'm rocking that one. Um, I'm, you know, I live in Atlanta, so right. I, I hear a lot of different music. And I got a lot of love for the for the um, the young the younger generation here and for what they're doing. Um, I, I, I do like R&B. Um, I'm, I'm loving, you know. Who are you listening to R&B? Well, you know, I kind of. In Atlanta, just, you know, just first period. and foremost, well, I like to take it back, you know. Okay. I like the soul. I like the okay. soul. So I'm listening to, like, some, some Otis Red, some... some um, okay, so you took it way Donnie, back. Donnie Hathaway. You know, so like <laughs> right. some, some, real, some real deal. But um, just mm -hmm. with the, you know, what's going on right now in the city, um, I got to say, um, my man, I'm, I'm, I don't want to mess up the name, but Jacquees, 
I want to say that's how you say it, but you know, it's kind of tough with those cues. But I think you know what he's doing. I'm looking forward to hearing his, his new project because um, my, my producer Trey Beats that worked with him quite a quite a while back. You know, so um, maybe you know you never know. You might rekindle that. Right. But um, I'm definitely hearing some good vibes kind of coming out of his camp, hearing him on the radio, mm -hmm. and I think that's dope. And I like um I just heard Gunner mm -hmm. recently. Um, mm -hmm. Rich the Kid. I'm, I'm really. I'm really liking his vibe too. Um, the Migos, you know, they keep it right, moving. Right. You know, I'm not. I'm not too upset with that. But um, you know, I'm big on like just whatever the day might be. You know, I might just like today. Bun Bun B and Pimp C helped me out today. UGK put put me down through my workout today, so okay. that was big. And then I ended up coming back with some Nas. But right, I, I like right. I like I like hip hop. You know, I like hip hop. I want to hear I want to hear a message with it. But also, I, there's a time to you know just kind of have fun with it too. Okay. Nice. So talk um, about what you have coming up as far as uh, any new projects you're working on now. Well, right now, um, as far as the music goes, I'm trying to get that first project right. You know, so I don't even really have a name name with it. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, typically I'll um, I'll put a hashtag on like motivational things like maybe my workout or maybe like some music that I might just kind of preview or something like that and typically I, what I'll put on there is the climb and the climb is to me it's it's just about just being better than yesterday and just striving and just trying to continue to you know reach reach to an altitude that you haven't been there before but the climb is never complete you know you got to keep going so I just try to motivate you know people in that sense and I think you'll you'll hear that in, in the music some motivation definitely but um as far as my foundation goes um we're, we're getting ready to have one of our big events. Um, it's coming up, and it's going to be um, a charity golf tournament. It's okay. going to be out at Sugarloaf at the okay. um, Sugarloaf Golf Golf Club out, out there. Okay. And um, it's it's going to be a good event. I got a lot of buddies, um, a lot of pro buddies that um, I play with, cross paths with along the way. And these guys, you know, anytime you want to, you know, you see somebody doing something positive, you know, you want to be a part of that. And I think that's what I just try to, I try to exude positivity. And I think, um, you know, if you do that, you'll have a lot of people who can help you along the way and be eager to help you. So we're going to do a um, golf tournament. It'll be a, a good time. That's going to be on June the 18th. Okay. Yeah. And um, you can go to um, SeanWeatherspoon.org and kind of check that out and um, find out you know a little bit more about that. And it'll start at 10 a.m. on June June 18th. That's going to be a big event for us, and that's going to be fun. And then also, um, I've been been, been um, trying to figure out you know some some more ways to get in front of the camera and, and just you know have have conversation you know okay. and just talk about music and with that podcast music, you have yeah up, right. So we have a podcast coming up. And okay. we, it's a little a little vague right now with the not, with the name of it. We're working on it, but um the the premise of it would be you know myself and maybe new hot artists in Atlanta or from wherever or other athletes and just, you know, talking music and how it inter intertwines with ball and, that's, you know, any ball, baseball, football, whatever, sports, period. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, just kind of just let people know a little bit about, you know, us that, you know, you might not know. And I think that'd be something that people would be interested to see and it'll be fun. Okay. You have a launch date for that yet? No, we, we don't have a launch date for okay. that. Um, okay. I think um, we're getting ready to shoot some stuff here next week to kind of um, figure that out. But, um, we getting there. Okay. Okay. Nice. You can find me on Twitter at Sean W Spoon five six and on Instagram at Spoon Jones five six, as well as my personal website SeanWeatherspoon.org. You can find that information about my foundation at www.spoonfulofhopefoundation.com.